Supergirl. I'm reviewing this movie as part of my Flash series of reviews. Uh, I reviewed a comic, actually a couple comics, a couple a uh, DC animated movie involving the Flash. I reviewed the Flash 90s show, and now we're talking about Supergirl. I want to tie this into the Flash movie coming out, and I thought it'd be great to review a the Supergirl movie because it's an interesting movie, and um, if you know the Flash movie, we're getting Supergirl the first on, on the big screen for the first time since when did this movie come out i'm looking right now 1984 really it was that long ago damn this movie's awful it's really bad um you know i think that there's definitely people have some fond memories of this movie and it's kind of a guilty pleasure but this is a really bad movie I, they try to expand the Superman franchise because Christopher Reeve was just at the top of his game, you know, and he was doing great things with the Superman movies. And so, naturally, they wanted to do more with the Superman franchise uh, and spin off into Supergirl. Well, Christopher Reeve was actually going to cameo in the movie, never ended up doing it. And you can kind of see why this movie just isn't great. And I think one of the biggest problems with this movie is, first of all, the effects are terrible. That's one problem. The acting's terrible. The plot of this movie makes no sense. And you can tell that this is not really rooted in any of the Supergirl comics. Like, the villain of this movie is not something out of the comics. The plot of this movie is not something out of the comics. And I'm not saying it necessarily has to be. There are plenty of superhero movies that have just made up things entirely and made them really work for the movie that, um... And it's really worked out for them. But this is not one of those cases. This is a terrible movie in terms of a lot of that stuff. This movie just is so poorly crafted and put together on that front. But I think the biggest problem of this movie is just that this is a movie with a female protagonist that feels like a bunch of white males and executives wrote it. And what I mean by that is like, there's a there's a when you're watching a lot of movies and tv shows you can really just tell uh, the difference of when a woman writes a line for a female character and when a man writes a line for a female character i'm not saying there aren't men who can actually successfully write female characters like a joss whedon joss whedon is not and i'm not I'm not here to get into the whole joss whedon thing that, that that dude's a piece of shit all i'm saying is joss whedon wrote a lot of really great female characters and was able to do it really well, right? Supergirl has the problem of, like, these writers just can't. First of all, like, she has some dude fawning over her. That's the only thing that they can think to do with her because she's a woman. Um, and I'm not saying that you, you can't do that well. Look at Wonder Woman, you know, but in this movie, it just it doesn't work. Um, she just kind of wanders around, does whatever, just... She just feels like generic female protagonist. It just felt like nobody knew how to make this movie work. And it was just boring. And it's just overly long. And it's just a terrible movie. That Supergirl be looking hot in that suit. But other than that, no, I'm kidding. But yeah. This movie is just... Just a really boring movie. But I will say... Um, there's a special feature on this, the making of the Supergirl vintage documentary. You got director's commentary on this movie. Lots of cool special features. So if you really like this movie or you're interested in how this movie got made and what this movie is, 100% uh, check this movie out. But yeah, I, this is why I cannot wait for James Gunn is a uh, reboot of Supergirl. Because Supergirl is a fantastic character. The show didn't really ever capture that. This movie didn't ever really capture that in the ways it needed to. And I so it's going to be great to see them really capture that with a new movie. It just feels like... I don't know. But also with this set here, you get the director's cut DVD. And then you get the Blu-ray, which has the international cut. So you get, I think, three different cuts. I think you get theatrical, international, all that. It's a really awesome set. Uh, if you really love this movie, 100% worth grabbing. But it is a terrible, terrible movie. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. 
and stay tuned for my review of The Flash.